What are you gonna do here? I'm gonna dig some potatoes. What do you got going on here? Because it doesn't look very good. A little bit of trouble with the digger. If it starts turning, which I'm hoping it does, she'll pull it. All right. How did it do? It did pretty good. Did you have a problem with this thing recently? Yes. What? Well, I snapped the chain. Well, and then I busted the pin that holds my height up there. So I had to make a new one. What pin? This little pin inside of here. And it's spring loaded. And it locks in a notch here. Oh, yeah. To control your shoe. And that snapped off, so I had to make a new one because she was going so deep the tractor couldn't pull it. You are a roughneck. This machine is 100 years old. <laughs> it's at least 80. Look at this. That's hard on the butt. Tell me about it. I just lived it. <laughs> I got to get some pails. I got taters to pick. Nice ones. Ain't they nice? Look at all the potatoes. That's what these things do. They dig them out and they shake them. They shake the ground off and drop them on the ground. And a lot of times you can put something behind them to, to grab them too. This might not have ever had a hitch for the back, but look at it's even bringing weeds up. It's a weeder. What do you do with these potatoes that are cut like this? They got sliced? We run them through the potato launcher. Well, let's see. Well, you fire her up. Well, I got it. I got to prep it. Yeah. Just give me a sec here. And boxes fold just from that little bit. A bushel. That's a full bushel of taters. Now, how far did we go? That's a lot of launching. 25 feet. Oh, well, we'd be eating this winter, huh? Yeah. Okay. I just want it easier to just find something like this. Good old hairspray. Yeah, hairspray powers this baby. Tresemme. That never gets old. You see where it landed? Way across the road, huh? Leave that seat cushion on the tractor. I can't do that. Why? You ever try and get the, the water out of one of them? Yeah, it sucks. What did you uh, first? I think you should pop them right off of there and you go up the conveyor. Hey, were you in first? Yeah. Jeff was in first. Things are happening fast. Thank 
you got him. Get any out? Yeah. Oh yeah. We're digging them out. We're getting them. You're getting taters. And these aren't dried up like the other like the garden's gonna be. These Arcane, were the Arcane is still on. These are the fourth of July potatoes. Ah, uh, aren't you seeing any cut in half? It's good so far. Yeah, 
like I said, these weren't dried down all the way, so they'll, they would have been bigger, but what's wrong with this? Nothing wrong with that. It's a beautiful one. Just the smaller ones would have been a hair bigger, but don't really yeah, matter, but matter a whole lot. It's time to get them out. I think. Yeah. You got to do them all at once. You want to keep doing this. Easy to some stuck in the vines like that. Oh, this one got cut, but oh well. Work for a potato launcher, or we just eat it right away. I think we'll get them picked up, and maybe we'll run through it again, huh? In case I was off a little bit. If you want, might as well. It always finds some after. Yeah, the, out while we're here. The rolls weren't perfectly straight, so I had a hard time getting yeah. all this that. This thing wanders a little bit too. So you think this is an IH, huh? I think so. Because there's emblems on it. Right there. It looks like an IH emblem to me. IH made a lot of potato stuff. Planters, diggers, cultivators, everything. Yeah, right. right. There's IH. I think that's their emblem. Yeah. So. Don't know what model number I looked before doing this. I, there's not a lot of info on these. No. It's probably 100 years old, I wouldn't doubt. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to ride the digger this time. Were you excited? First, I was. the wheels here
Link Judaism. Now the Memorial Weekend potatoes. That's a good one. Well, I got quite a few, huh? And we'll have to clean the digger out here. A little bit left. Got to the end of the roll. And then we got one more roll and we're done. Hey, yep. These, I would say, majority of them are a little bigger. They had another month of growing. That one got. This one is. Ah, that that one is probably that. No, I don't think so. It's a good one for a baked potato.
here's what we got. There's like about nine pails. With them. That wasn't worth a while. Why do you have a John Deere hat? Because I don't want to get my Oliver one dirty. <laughs> so here's what we got. This is the garden. The Memorial Weekend potatoes. Is what's here in this. And then this was five pails. For the 4th of July ones. 4th of July weekend. And they're, they're maybe a little bit smaller, but there was some big ones. So this one was cut. But there was some big ones. I think it's a little bigger in, in these. They had another month to grow, but those didn't do bad. And I had no bugs to worry about on them. But I think I'd still prefer to have them in earlier. Because they are probably a good percentage of them are bigger. So I guess I'll deal with the bugs. All right, I'm gonna clean this guy off here and try and get it protected for next time. Time for some lanolin. I'll protect it then. For next time, a couple feet, it'll be off. Probably not even, probably a half a foot. That'll do her.